Enter any room at the home of John Rice, and it's very clear that this guy loves the outdoors. From big game hunting out west, to hunting and fishing in Alaska, to turkey hunting closer to home, Dr. Rice says his passion for all things wild is coded in his genes. I was born that way, and I'm an only child, so I didn't learn it from anybody. That's what I've done the rest of my life, is a, a way to relax and enjoy uh, my free time outside of medicine. As a Duke clinical rheumatologist for nearly 40 years, Dr. Rice cemented his reputation as a devoted and caring physician to his patients who suffered from arthritis and sundry other rheumatological issues. The pleasure for me has been, been the relationship with patients. What probably means the most to me are, these are awards that you get if you're a, these are little good guy awards. If you, a patient writes a complimentary thing to you and sends it in, they send you a gold star. But I was very proud of those. And when I retired, uh, I've had a close relationship with all of my patients, and I still stay in touch with some of those people now, even though I'm retired. After earning an undergraduate degree at Duke and a medical degree from the University of Miami, where he points out the fishing was awesome, Dr. Rice returned to Duke for internship and residency and was inspired and molded by Eugene Stead, Duke's legendary chair of medicine at the time. And when I got here and encountered Dr. Stead and the philosophy of medicine that he promulgated, I, I fell in love with him and I wanted to be like him. If I could have this man approve of me of the tiniest little bit, it just made my whole day. So, Somehow, even during his residency at Duke, Dr. Rice occasionally managed to slip away into the woods with his hunting rifle. He spent three years in the U.S. Army during the Vietnam War, stationed at a medical clinic in Germany where he moved his wife and family. Again, the outdoors proved an enticing playground, and he developed a love for German short-haired pointers. My father was a Navy pilot for 29 years, so I was very comfortable with the military style. I, I lived three happy years. Uh, hunting, enjoying the German wines, and traveling all over Europe. So we had a good time. Dr. Rice always searched for deeper understanding of medical conditions and established himself as a pioneer with a little understood condition, fibromyalgia. His published papers helped to categorize the controversial condition as a psychosocial syndrome that can be treated in part with antidepressants. The connection between the physiology of the brain and the symptoms that these people were experiencing was very apparent. Dr. Rice and his wife Celia have three sons and eight grandchildren. Like her husband, Celia is also an avid outdoors person. Hunting and fishing surely will continue to be a huge part of the Rice's lives. And Dr. Rice especially enjoys bird hunting with his English pointer named Cody. In 2005, the couple bought a pickup truck and a camper. Dr. Rice took three and a half months off work and the couple drove to Alaska and back. I had committed myself uh, almost 24-7 to my career at Duke. My wife had raised the kids, and you grow a little bit apart. By the time we came back from that trip, we were the same two kids that had gotten married back when we met each other when we were 18 years old. It was the best thing in the world for our marriage and, and for our lives, actually.